today, I want to urge you to actively seek out the most contentious, polarized, gridlocked places you can find. Because so often throughout our history, those have been the places where progress really happens. The places where minds are changed, lives transformed, where our great American story unfolds. You don't get to have no hands. No, you don't get to be precious or cautious or cynical. No, not, not when the earth is warming and the oceans are rising. You don't get to be cynical. Not when too many young people still languish in communities ripped apart by violence and despair. Not when women still make less than men for the same work. Not when millions of girls across the globe never set foot inside a school. No, not when many young people just like you the men and women we honor this Memorial Day have sacrificed their lives for your freedom to make your voice heard. You don't get to have no hands. And graduates, climate change, economic inequality, human rights, criminal justice, these are the revolutions of your time. And you have as much responsibility and just as much power to wake up and play your part in our great American story. Because it is absolutely still possible to make a difference. The great moments of our history are not decades in our past. They're happening right now, today, in our lifetimes. And today, it is no longer remarkable to see be two beautiful black girls walking their dogs on the South Lawn of the White House. That's just the way things are now. See, graduates, this is what happens when you turn your attention outward and decide to brave the noise and engage yourself in the struggles of our time. And that's why in his remarks 50 years ago, Dr. King urged the class of 65 to stand up and be a concerned generation. And graduates, that call to action applies just as much to all of you today. And I want to be very clear. Every city ordinance, every ballot measure, every law on the books in this country, that is your concern. What happens at every school board meeting, every legislative session, that is your concern. Every elected official who represents you from dog catcher to president of the United States, they are your concern. So get out there and volunteer on campaigns and then hold the folks you elect accountable. Follow what's happening in your city hall, your state house in Washington, D.C. Better yet, run for office yourself. Get in there, shake things up, don't be afraid and get out and vote in every election. Not just the big national ones that get all the attention, but every single election. Make sure the folks who represent you share your values and aspirations. See, that is how you will rise above the noise and shape the revolutions of your time. That is how you will have a meaningful journey on those clamorous highways of life. And graduates, that is how you will carry on the proud legacy of this great institution for generations to come. So again, I, I'm proud of you all. I am confident in your ability to do amazing things. And I'm honored to be here to share the beginning of the next phase of that journey with you. We will be there with you every step of the way. So go out there and make it happen. Thank you all. I wish you the best of luck. God bless.